Shalom Israel. First and foremost, we must always, daily, give praises and glory, exaltation to Yehawah, Baasham, Yehawah Shai, Baasham, Rekha Kodash. Give double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone, our spiritual teachers. Salutations to our sincere brothers that goes out on the highways week in and week out, risking their lives to feed the true flock of Israel, the elect. Uh, shalom to our sincere brothers and sisters supporting this true doctrine. Kwam Yasharalam. Right, before um, I get into what I want to talk about, is that I remember a couple of weeks ago, this brother, our brother, one of our brothers sent this beautiful prayer. You know? So I have to keep on reading it from time to time. You know, to remind yourself, right? That is not of ourselves. Right? That's why we have to pray and hope that during that time of temptation, all right? That the Lord is with us in that day to refuse the mark of the beast, which is the RFID chip, right? And that is coming. The mark of the beast is the RFID chip, which is going to be made mandatory. And if we refuse it, all right, you're going to be put to death. All right? Simple as that. If you take it, we are denying Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai Ba'asham Rekar Kodash. And we're bowing down to this, to Esau system. All right? But here's the prayer. Yahweh, you know every decision I need to make and every challenge I face. Baba Gasha, please forgive me for the times that I try to figure this life out. We can't figure this life. Right? That's why we need the scriptures to give us that path to follow. The law, statutes, and commandments, which is our the scriptures. So we need the scriptures, right, to comfort us. Because we can't figure out life on our own. I need you, not want. There's a difference between want and need. All right? Need. I need you, Yahweh Basham Yahushai. I need your Holy Spirit to give me strength, wisdom, and direction. Amen. So let it be. So remember, we're in that time now. You see what's going on now? All right? As one of the, um, I can't remember who said it to be on the top of my head, one of the elites, right, said that do not let a good event go to waste. A man that's saying it word for word what he said. Because this is the time where things are going down. They're using this now, the coronavirus, right? To implement, to get something going. Who knows it's true? We don't know the decision, how the Most High works. Everything what is done under the sun belongs to the glory and power of Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. Wherever who lives under the sun, so it's not it's of man's decision, it's of the Most High. So we hope and pray that this event is going to bring in a closer, a step closer. But remember, things can calm down again. Remember, the Most High is all about precision, and it's not of about it's not about us. We want Him to come right now tonight, but it's not about us. It's about the Lord, His timing. All right. So, yeah, that's why I'm saying I have to bring up this prayer here, which is a beautiful prayer. We don't know how the Most High thinks. 
is based on his decision, his ways. All right. So what I want to go and talk about now is that, yeah, alert, alert. Alert, alert. Because the devil has a short time. All right, let me get that in Revelations 12 and 12. Right? Revelations 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, right, which is the deceiver, is come down unto you having great wrath. And this is what's happening now. Because he knoweth that he have a but a short time. The devil has a short time. Yahweh Shai is coming back, you know. Hey! Yahweh Basham Yahushai is coming back. So who is panicking? Who is panicking? The devil is panicking. Alright? Because he has a short time. Right? He needs to implement something major. And this is the right time. Well, it's not based on our thoughts. But we hope and pray that this is the right time. Do not make an event go to waste. All right? Something major is happening. But remember, we have to keep a stable mind because it could all go down again. It could calm down again. Because it's happened before in the past, you know, where we thought that, yeah, this is the time. But you know what? It calmed right back down again. But we need to think about this event which is happening here. All right? Could usher in martial law. All right? All right? Force people to take these vaccines. Right? If you, um, if you are, if anybody thinks or the, 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 the police or the, um, the, 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 whoever thinks that you are, are not well or sick, right? You have to take this virus, the vaccination. So like here. But anyway, brothers have gone into the article about this vaccination thing. All right. But <coughs> at the end of the day, <coughs> there's an, ag an agenda, right? Because the, the devil knows he has a short time. Right? He has a short time. Because you know what? There's no truth in him. There's no truth. He's been lying to us from day one. We were once in that stage, we used to believe in the system. We used to believe in the system. But through the spirit of Yahweh Bar Sham Yahweh Shai, that used our elders, apostles, to, to break down the scriptures, to wake us up into the truth. Right? Wake us up. We have that different vision now. So we are not panicking and because we know what it says in the scriptures. And it's coming to pass. It's coming to pass. Everything is coming to pass. And we know for a fact that things are speeding up because we know that it's all of the Lord, Yahweh Ba'asham and Shai, putting his spirit in the devil, in Esau, to make his moves. We know it's of the Most High. But things are being um, moved quick, uh, quicker and quicker, right? Things are moving faster because it's the will of the Most High. The Most High wants to he send his son back very quickly, I tell you that. He's burning to come back. All right? He's angry. So that was in that, in Revelations 12 and 12. There's no truth in him. And you know what? Everybody's finding out who the devil is now. People are waking up to this truth. Right? And it's true. In the last days, people are going to wake up. People are going to wake up. And there's going to be millions and thousands not going to wake up. But he's been exposed. The devil has been exposed. Right. Let me go to Luke. Luke 8 and... Uh, 16. 
No man, when he have light, lighted a candle, covereth it with a vessel, or putteth it under a bed, but sitteth it on the candlestick, that they which enter in may see the light. For nothing is secret, right? Nothing's in secret these days. Because nothing is hidden. The truth is coming out. The Most High is about truth. The Most High hates a liar. He hates a liar. So nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Everything is being manifested now, you know. And it's become more and more manifested. Neither anything hid. You see, the deceiver cannot hide anymore. That shall not be known and come abroad. You see what I'm saying? Everything is being, being lit now. That candle is getting brighter and brighter and brighter. Take heed therefore how ye hear. For whoever so, whosoever have to him shall be given. Right? That's the truth, you know. We've been given that truth. And whoever so have not, right? And that truth is being taken away, right? Because they're being lying all the time. They are hiding the truth. The deceiver, the devil is hiding the truth from us. But you see that candle is getting brighter and brighter. For him shall be taken even that which he seemeth to have. Wow, that's so heavy, that scripture. That's so heavy. All right. Let me go to Matthew now. Let's go to Matthew. So like here. Matthew. Matthew 5, 12 to 16. And it says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad. For great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Yea, are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savour, savour, right? Wherewith shall it be salted? It is Hence, thenceforth, good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. And that is us, you know. Right? The Hebrew Israelites, the prophets, right? That has been woken up to this truth. They have been set high. They are like their candle. Because they cannot be hidden anymore. The truth cannot be hidden anymore. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all the that are in the house. Those prophets that goes out on the highways and the byways from our elders, apostles come down. Right? They're the ones up in the city on the highways and the byways. Right? And the truth cannot be hidden anymore because the devil is a liar. And they've been prophesying from day one that the devil is a liar, the devil is a dece deceiver, so called Esau. Right? So called white man, Shalakia, Esau. Is a deceiver. And you know what? Because he has a short time. Very short time. And that's what the prophets have been prophesying from day one. That he's going to come down with great wrath. Because he wants to get to his agenda. He wants to get to that time where he wants to push that RFID chip. Let. Did I read 15? Yes. 
Verse 16, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Okay? The Most High loves the truth, you know. The, the, the truth is good works. The Most High loves the truth. The Most High hates a liar. He hates a liar. All right? Right. What's the next one now? So let me go to uh, Romans 1 verse 18. And it says, For the wrath of Yahweh Shamir Shai is revealed from heaven against all ungodliness and unrighteousness of men who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Right? The so-called devil knows the truth, you know. He knows the truth. And he withheld the truth. Right? Look what he did during slavery. Right? He held the truth from us. He lied to us. Everything that is ungodly, he hid from us. Everything that was unrighteous, he hid from us. Right? Because you know what? The unrighteousness is in him. And it's all about the Most High. The truth will overcome a lie. Okay? Although the Most High created everything in balance, righteousness is going to overcome unrighteousness I'm telling you right because the Mosai hates a liar he is about truth and the truth is that the, the, the so called devil knows he has a short time that is a truth and he knows that's the truth so he needs to make his move right he needs to make his move where am I going now I'm going to John now. Oops. Going to John. 8 verse 8 verse 40, 44. And it says here, Ye are of your father, the devil, the deceiver, Esau. And the lust of your father ye will do. He was a murderer from the beginning, right? And abode not in the truth. He sees the opposite, right? Right? He's a murderer. Remember Cain and Abel? All right? Remember? Because he's a murderer. Because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie. Hey, you see that lie again? He can't speak truth. He knows the truth, but he can't speak it. Because he wants to deceive. He speaketh of his own, for he is a liar. Right? I remember when I was in school as a little boy. And they say, liar, liar, pants on fire, liar, liar, pants on fire. You're right, he's going to feel that fire. Esau is going to feel that fire. Edomites are going to feel that fire. The deceiver, the devil is going to feel that fire. When he speaketh a lie, he speaketh of his own. For he is a liar and the father of it. Right? <coughs> so I want to bring up the last one now. So Lucky, I'm a little bit um, confused today. My brain, my mind is not that straight. So Lucky, brothers, you know, I get tongue twisted, you know, because of my situation. So Lucky, right? But it's, they have a short time. All right? They have a short time. 
right? Uh, the next one I'm going to go for now is Titus. Verse 1, 1 to 2. Paul, a servant of Yahweh Shai, and an apostle of Yahweh Hamashiach, according to the faith of God's elect and the acknowledging of the truth which is after godliness. The Most High is after truth, you know. He's not after that lie. In hope of eternal life, which Yahweh that cannot lie promise before the world began. Before the world began, the Most High cannot lie because he loves truth. He hates a lying tongue. He hates that fourth tongue. The devil has that fourth tongue, a lying tongue. It's all about confusion. The Lord Yahweh Basham Yashai is the author, right? Of all goodness, all righteousness. All right? Godliness, goodness, pureness, immaculate. You could go on and go on and go on and go on. It's good, 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 good. As Yahweh Basham Yashai Basham Kakadash. We hope and pray that he keeps us in the last days. Yes? We hope and pray that he keeps us. Because I tell you something, nothing is going to be best is when you are chosen and you bow down to the Most High, Yahweh Basham Yashai, in all righteousness and in glory, in perfection, and your body is perfect. You're bowing to him and you're praying to him, giving all the glory. That's going to be the most beautiful feeling ever. Crying with tears, with joy. Although in that day, when you're in the kingdom, the Most High is going to remove all tears. Right? But I want those tears of joy. Right? Because you're going to remove all the tears of, of pain. But let's hope and pray that the Most High does not remove the joy, the tears of joy. That's the only tears that is going to come flowing from our, 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 our eyes. The joy. Crying with joy. Crying with happiness. Exalting Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Right? If we only could just pull through this, brothers and sisters, I myself too, if we only could just pull through this, through the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. If we could only just pull through this, You could do anything. I'm not. No, don't get me wrong. As we don't want to sin, but listen. As one thing we must not do is to take the RFID chip. Do not accept the chip. That's one thing that we must not do, because if we do that, we're going to feel that second death. And we hope and pray that we don't take the mark, the mark of the beast, the RFID chip, right? We hope and pray. So that's what I wanted to talk about. All right. All right, so like if I am a little bit slow at times, all right, but, you know, some brothers know why, but I just want to bring this message across that the time is short and expect things to go down heavy because we don't see nothing yet. <clears throat> we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing. We're still in the comfort. We're still in comfort now. We're still in that comfort zone. All right? Although people are panicking and buying this and buying that, nothing wrong in buying stuff, you know. But we know that the food is going to finish. That is where the faith comes in. You do your regular shopping, all right? All right, you know, because you know, remember, you know, you know, if they're going to, um, if martial law, if they don't want us to come out of our houses, okay, obviously you're going to need food, isn't it? Because you can't come out. 
I'm not sure if he could go out to buy food or whatever. I don't know how the Most High is going to work it. But at least you buy your food, you put it up. But this is where the faith comes in, is when the food finishes. That's why it's stupid when you, when you stockpile. Why stockpile? Because that's going to finish. All right? It's going to finish. We don't know how long this is going to go on for. The food in your house is going to finish. And if you stockpile, right, and the next door neighbor did not stockpile, he's going to be so desperate. He saw you, a delivery truck, um, bringing the food for you a, a week ago, or he saw you shopping, right? He decided to look out the window and saw you, see you bringing in your goods. And he didn't have any money to buy anything at that time. He's going to come taking your goods from you when desperation hit. Right? So the real faith is when the food finishes. Prepare yourself. All right? Prepare yourself. But remember, the faith starts because we're not tested yet. The faith starts when that food finishes. The faith starts when they cut off the water. The faith starts when they cut off the heating and we're cold. The faith starts when we everything seems impossible. You don't know where to turn. That is when the faith starts. And we pray, we pray, we pray to Yahweh Shami Hashai that he gives us. That's why we have to listen, brothers and sisters, before I want to say this, right? That's why you want to see people want to, it's good that brothers wake up now, all right? We need brothers to wake up now before it's too late. But when it's too late, you don't want to see brothers come in and say, oh, I'm joining with you and say, yes, yes, what you've been saying from day one is true from the, from the, from the, the prophets on the highways and the byways via the streets and via the internet. Now you want to come in and shake hands with the prophets. Too late for that. All right? The Most High wants you to exalt Him when things are good. You don't only pray to the Most High when things are bad. Huh? Oh, 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 no. I, I need bills to pay. Oh, sh oh, I, 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 my woman's left me. Um, oh, I, I, I need a new car. Oh, I need to bow down to the Most High for praying for these things, worldly things. When you need it. And when the Most High blesses you now, you, you forget. You don't forget Yahweh Basham Yashai. That's off. Right? What is beautiful is when the Most High is putting food on the table every day and you belch. You belch. You burp. Yep. You burp. You're satisfied. Right? And you turn on your knees and go, glory be to Yahweh Basham Yashai. Thank water for, th for feeding me. Lord, I've got food in my fridge. Baba Kasha, can you continue to bless me with this food? Imagine, you know, you know you have food in the fridge, you know, but you're asking the Most High still to bless you tomorrow. You know food's in the fridge to eat. You're confident that food's in the fridge to eat tomorrow, but you're begging the Most High, please, can you sustain me? Can you keep me going? Pray to the Most High when it's good. Do not pray when things are bad. It's going to be too late because the Most High will not hear you. That's why you pray. Praise be to Yahweh Basham Yashai for waking you up. And you wake up, right? You know the truth. And you're still comfortable, you know. You're still relaxed and comfortable because of what I'm trying to say to you. You could turn on the tap, you get water. All this water is defiled. You could turn on the tap. You're cold, you turn the heating on. You're going out in the winter, you put on a coat. You have money to buy a coat. All right? So all these, these comfort zones you're in, you give the glory to the Most High the same way. Do not wait until you have no coat, no water, no heating, no food. Then you're going to say, hey, this is looking serious now. This is looking serious. Because the Most High's eyes are 10 times, 10,000 times brighter than the sun. He sees everything. And the angels are making notes. I need to do more. I need to glorify the Most High more. I need to do, I'm unworthy. Right? I am filthy rags. So we need to do more. 
Okay, we need to do more and glorify the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. Glorify Him. Glorify Him and His Son. So lucky for going on. But it's all about this. Glorifying the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. It's all about the power of Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. All right? And we must sound like a broken record. I don't give a shit. Sound like that. That's as what Elder Apostle Taha says. It's about you don't care if we sound like a broken record. We must glorify Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Can I tell you something? All praise, glory be to Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Can I say something again? All praises and glory, exaltation to Yahweh. And his beloved son, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, Basham Rakat Kadash. Right? You have to go into it, brothers. You have to go into it, sisters. Right? We have to go into it. Right? Beg the Most High not to take the Holy Spirit away from you every day. Day, night, night, day, day, night, sunrise, sunset. Beg the Most High not to take the Holy Spirit away from you. All right? That's all I have to say, brothers and sisters. Right? The devil has a short time. Okay? And watch out. And be, don't, be, don't, be dis, don't be upset when it, it goes to a high. Because I get it too. I get it too. Sometimes I get on a high. I say, yes, this is it. And then bam, something else happens and it goes back low again. And it feels so low. And he say, Yahweh Basham Yahshai, Baba Kasha, please, please, it's not of me, it's of you. Please quicken this. But you know what? You're going to look back and they say, hey. So that's why the most I did A, B, C. A part one, A part two, A part three, A part four, part B, A part one, Shalakia. B part one, B part two, then it goes to C. Because it's not our way of thinking. We don't, we want no one side to go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. It doesn't go that way. It hurts us. That's why we have to beg for patience. Right? So lucky for going on, brothers and sisters. So lucky. So lucky for going on. Right? So lucky. It's all about the Haoba Sham Yao Shai. Bahasham Rakar Kodash. I pray for you, brothers and sisters, and uh, we all remain strong. Right? Right? It's all about rehearsing. Rehearse, brothers. Try to fast. Right? Try to pray more. Give all exaltation to Yahweh Bahasham Yahushai Bahasham Rakar Kodash. That's all I want to say. Baba Kasha. Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. All praise be. Please, please, let's glorify Yahweh Basham Yahshai. With that, all praise and glory to Yahweh Basham Yahshai. So lucky for going long. So lucky. All right. Because when it's due, it is due. It's due every time to glorify Yahweh Basham Yahshai. Amen.